Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Greg's Restorations. Today we are here with a 1986 Toyota pickup SR5 four-wheel drive. Uh, this is a truck that came in, I would say about two years ago we started the project. We didn't work on the project every single day, but uh, we have about 2,000 hours into the restoration of this project. It was a full frame-off rotisserie restoration. It drives like it's got five miles on it. It's tight. I mean, we completely went through everything on this truck. So this vehicle is just approaching 288,888 miles. So it's kind of funny for back in the future because 88 miles an hour was the speed you needed to go back in time. So our highlight to fame at the shop is we restored the screen used Back to the Future Toyota truck from films two and three. We did that restoration back in 2013 we started it and over the years we've built many clone trucks for customers all over the country and we sell parts all over the world so we sell our bumpers and all of our little reproduction parts that we have on our website to everybody that's building a replica truck we sell a lot of parts to australia for some unknown reason there's a little car culture over there building mid-80s toyota pickups for movie clones which is pretty cool truck came in from California. I would say it was in really good shape for the age, but all these old vehicles have hitting gremlins that you don't see, you know? So like, it had a paint job on it probably about 10 years ago, and they did an okay job, but just a lot of hidden stuff underneath, a lot of extra drilled holes for accessories on the floor, and they put like running boards on it, and steps, and stuff in the bed. Um, they used it as a truck, so there's big dents in the bed. It was a rust-free truck. It didn't have really any rust on it. The bed had a tiny bit um, that we had to take care of, but overall the truck body-wise was in good shape. It just had, you know, just unknown surprises kind of lurking everywhere that we didn't see. You know, it was a California truck, so it was, it was in a dry climate. The frame on this thing was probably the nicest one that we've ever started on. As these old trucks are, they just take tons of time. Luckily for our parts yard, we were able to have, we had a lot of the parts that we needed. And Toyota still sells a lot of the mechanical parts that we need. It's really tough to really know what you're getting into until you have the vehicle fully apart. So the vehicle had been painted before and it just, it looked nice from pictures. It looked nice from five feet away, but once you got the paint off of it, there was just poor bodywork underneath of it. And if we're going to be doing a full restoration, we want to take this down to bare steel. So this vehicle was, um, I would say, a full rotisserie restoration. I uh, took the body completely off it, disassembled it to 100%, and took it down to bare steel. So we did um, all of our bodywork. We sandblasted the whole body. Every panel was bodywork. Like I said before, a lot of like dent repair, a little bit of surface rush repair, and just fixing a lot of like excess welds. We had a lot of stress cracks. These trucks were made with the greatest steel and the thickest steel. So, you know, there was a lot of stress cracks and stuff like that. Not many bolt, broken bolts. It was a couple that we had to extract out, but all of our, you know, seam sealing, I mean, anything that had to do with that. It was really nice on this, this truck because like, you know, we, we strip all the factory seam sealer right out of it and then reapply all new seam sealer because the factory seam seal on these trucks wasn't good at all. It was just, it was really poor. Being a California truck, all the seam sealer had been was cracked and just from being in intense heat its whole life. But the vehicle wasn't a dry climate. The frame on this truck was probably one of the nicest ones we've ever seen. We sandblasted and painted the frame on the truck. It came out awesome. Uh, no bodywork needed on that either. I want to do a huge thanks to POR15. They've been helping us sponsor a few of these videos and help us with product on our restorations. All the weather stripping has been done on this truck. All the glass has been done. Full paint and body. Uh, this vehicle has a, uh, the paint coat on it is 202. Um, that is factory gloss black from Toyota. So we did a base coat and clear coat from uh, Sherwin-Williams Automotive. The 
also has a two inch lift. When the vehicle came in, it was actually three to four inch lift in it. And it was just too tall for my liking. And also the, the clone trucks aren't that tall, didn't have any lift. So we did something, uh, just a small lift in it. It's a two inch lift over stock height, so it's really nice. We were talking in the shop and we wanted to do something a little unique. Everybody makes uh, Statler Toyota tailgate decals like as like um, as like where you'd buy buy the truck from. We actually 3D printed a emblem that goes on the tailgate like you would have got from the dealership back, you know, in the 80s. So this vehicle is sporting a 22RE engine. This is a performance engine that was built by 22RE Performance in California. It's one of their stage two engines. It's a built engine, it's got plenty of power. Um, it's a nice upgrade over stock and everything on it is painted and powder coated so it's really nice you know when you pop the hood it gives it a nice little unique touch this engine's got also a performance header on it and a custom ceramic coated exhaust you see it up on the lift it just it stands out really nice On this truck, we use Skyjacker Hydrogen 7000 shocks. We were getting a little bit of pushback on why we use general run-of-the-mill shock, but in 86, this is what you would have used. This Marty McFly truck is an 80s build, so we're trying to use period-correct accessories. If you went to a you know, a four-wheel drive shock back in the 80s, you would have got, you know, Hecthorn shocks or Skyjack or Ranchos or there was a few other, you know, knockoff brands as well, but a lot of people were like, hey, why didn't you use Bilsteins? And, they weren't as popular back then. I don't even know if they were in business in the 80s. When you look at 80s builds, you would have saw, you know, white chalks with red boots or blue boots or yellow boots. That's what you would have went with. For the wheels and tires on this truck, we went with a 15 inch US wheel. It's a chrome and black modular wheel. They are screen accurate for the Marty McFly truck in the movie and the company still makes uh, reproductions today. And then we also went with a 31 inch by 10 and a half by 15 inch Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac. It's a good truck tire and it's similar to the screen used tire. It's a little bit more aggressive, but the tire that they used in the movie has been discontinued. And these tires are also a little bit different than the tires that we put on uh, the, screen, the screen used truck that we restored in 2014. One of the things I want to go over with on this build is the attention to detail that we went on this truck, such as the aluminum wet blasting on the transmission and all the aluminum parts, the correct zinc coating hardware throughout the truck with the stainless. The attention to detail in the bed floor. This is probably one of the nicest Toyota truck beds in the country. I wouldn't even put anything in it. <laughs> we put a three-wheeler in the back of it, but we were like so gentle and afraid to scratch it. You know, it's just like, it's, it's almost nicer than the outside of the truck. For the interior door panels, we went with a reproduction door panel from FAMAA. They are out of Mexico. The door panels fit pretty good. You have to modify and cut the upper part of the door panel because it comes with extra material and then you have to put on your upper trim from your existing door panel onto that. They don't uh, supply that, but they're the only company on the market that are making uh, reproduction door panels with the correct color and stitching. One of the coolest things about this truck is it has our reproduction bumpers on it. These bumpers we have been dying to make for, I would say, for eight years now. Ever since we restored the original Back to the Future truck in 2013 we started that, we've always wanted to reproduce bumpers because you can't buy them new. They discontinued them 20 years ago. And the ones that we're getting in are, are rotted, dented. We actually had we had original bumpers that came in with this truck, but they were the they were the rear bumper was smashed, the front bumper was rotted, it had dents. Like problem is, is they hold they trap dirt and moisture inside of them, and they just rust from the inside out. So we made ten 
front bumpers and 10 rear bumpers. We also made specifically for this truck, we made our own uh, Greg's Restorations bumper caps as Smitty Built did back in the day for their logo. They put their logo on the plastic end cap, so we did our name because these are our bumpers. This truck also has a bunch of other parts that we make as well. The windshield decal, the tailgate decal, the Statwood Toyota banner. We also reproduce the front fog lights. Those have been discontinued from KC for about, I would say, eight years or so. And also the light covers for the KC lights in the front and the KC spotlights in the rear. So we, we make those, you know, for these builds. They're a little pricey, but they're a good product and they're good quality. All of the parts that we make are made here in the USA. Is I'm going to show you in this video is where the original KC fog switch would have been on the dash. Um, so the original truck that we restored had a toggle switch under the dash that was a wood grain switch. Viewers, when you're building your other truck, this will be something that you can use to make your replica more screen accurate. This is our first truck that we've installed our SR5 Vertigo seat fabric in as well. So these, this is this is our first truck that we ever did that. The interior on this was completely overhauled. Everything was, was scuffed, painted, restored. We put a uh, factory Toyota radio back in it. It had like a, a 90s, like probably Panasonic radio in it or something like that. But we put an original radio back in it to give it that 80s feel. It's got the SR5 gauge cluster. It's got the, the SR5 center console. So this truck's got all the options except for a sunroof. Another one of the cool features is we reproduced a factory window sticker for this truck as well. So I made up, I did a bunch of research on it and made a reproduction window decal. So as you would, as you would have bought this truck new at the dealership. We listed off all the items as this truck was built if you could have bought it from the factory. This truck's also got all the, re, all the decals that would have had on it original right down to the uh, certified Toyota quality decal on the windshield. I would say this truck is probably one of the nicest Toyota pickups we've ever had leave our shop. Um, we've done a few that are right up there with it. It just, this project was specifically mine. I've worked mostly on this truck over the course of the last two years building it, and it means a lot to me. Um, so much attention to detail on this truck, such as reproducing and spraying the texture guard underneath the front fenders and this doing all the correct seam sealer right down to the correct seam sealer color. You don't even see it because the truck's painted, but all these little details make this build what it is. All down to the correct hardware, that's gold CAD. You know, and even down to the little features that we did, such as the tailgate emblem and um, the bumper end caps. Just such a unique truck. It is an 86. The movie truck was an 85, but the customer really liked this you know, independent front suspension. It wasn't a deal breaker to them. I like to build true 85 trucks because I like the solid axle, but it's an SR5. It has the, you know, the EFI engine. It's got all the, all the features on it that make it a Back to the Future replica. 85 Toyotas were probably the holy grail. They were the last year solid axle and the first year EFI. They were trying to make these trucks more, have more creature comforts, I would say make them drive better, make them ride better, and also compete with other manufacturers. So that's why one of the main reasons they went with an independent front suspension. It does ride way nicer. When I think of a truck, I think of a nice leaf spring solid axle front suspension. So one of the cool things we did with this truck today was we took it to one of our favorite spots in Hardwick, Massachusetts, and set this truck up in multiple different scenes that you would have probably did with this truck back in the 80s. So we had it set up to do the famous camping scene that Marty wanted to take Jennifer up to the mountains. And so we set up a whole camping scene with all the props that would have you, you would have needed for that. Check out that 4x4. That is hot. 
Okay, back her up. Someday, Jennifer. Someday. Wouldn't it be great? Take that truck up to the lake. Throw a couple of sleeping bags in the back. Another thing we did was we set up, uh, uh, you know, you would have did other things with this truck as like going off road and taking your vintage three wheeler to, you know, going out riding and stuff like that. So we sent up, we set up a hunting scene and we set up a, you know, a, a going a three wheeler scene. So just some cool stuff just to make this truck 80s again. So just having fun. We've worked so hard on this project. We want to have a little bit of fun on it, fun with it before we send it off to the customer in California. So, yeah, so it was a pretty good, cool experience to set this truck up in, you know, with the with the tent and the sleeping bags and, you know, the fire pit going. It was pretty cool. It was a pretty cold day, but it was it was enjoyable. It was fun to do it. You know, we never did it with the first truck, so this doing it with this truck is, is really cool. There's so many little features that make this build unique and our own that set this build off than all the other ones. Like there's been a bunch of people building replica trucks and putting them across Bear Jackson and trying to make some money with it. This truck, I guarantee you, is 10,000 times nicer than any of those vehicles. They've all been rushed and they're just, they're just blown across as fast as they could. And nobody really knows a lot about these trucks as much as we do. We take so much pride in this truck and building these trucks, they take longer than anybody else, and I guarantee we're more expensive. But if you're looking for an extreme attention to detail vehicle that you could probably drive cross country, we would be the shop that would want to do it. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Make sure you go to our website, gregsrestorations.com and gregstoyotarestorations.com and uh, go to our store, buy a t-shirt, buy a hat, help help the YouTube channel grow. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video as well. Uh, we'll see you on the next ride.